Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I wanna come on here and talk about the whole Kanye West situation. So if you guys do not know, Kanye West was trending all over Twitter yesterday, okay? He went viral once again for some more crazy stuff. But this time he went viral for not anything crazy that he's saying, but not his actions. He is now distancing himself from Candace Owens and also Donald Trump. He went onto Twitter and he basically said the following. Go ahead and check this out. So Kanye West says, my eyes are not wide open. I now realize I've been used to spread messages I don't believe in. I am distancing myself from politics and completely focusing on being creative. Then he goes on to say, I introduced Candace to the person who made the logo. They didn't want their name on it, so she used mine. I never wanted any association with Blixit. I have nothing to do with it. Then he says, I support creating jobs and opportunities for people who need them the most. I support prison reform. I support common sense gun laws that will make our world safer. I support those who risk their lives to serve and protect us. And I support holding people who misuse their power accountable. I believe in love and compassion for people seeking asylum and parents who are fighting to protect their children from violence and war. All right, so you guys just heard what Kanye West had to say. So a lot of this drama was coming from this clothing line that he supposedly was behind a few days ago, where it was telling black people to stop being Democratic and start being Republican. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a CNN news clip. Go ahead and check this out. He says he needs distance from politics. Good choice. In a pair of tweets, he denies designing a t-shirt line urging black people to abandon the Democratic Party. They called it Blexit. If he was used by conservative activist Candace Owens, it wouldn't be the first time he was used for political gain. Let's bring in D. Lemon. D. Lemon, right move for Kanye? <laughs> yeah, listen, um, do you know how I feel about this? And I, I, I don't want to beat up on Kanye anymore um, because, and this isn't, um, I don't mean this in, the, in a derogatory way. P has to deal, he's dealing with some issues. And it seems to me from these tweets that he is probably dealing with them, which is a good thing, which is what most people said. That's, this was the point, that at this time in his life, without the knowledge of history and perhaps reading a little bit more, uh, that he should not be talking about and addressing the issues that he was addressing because he wasn't helping on the issue, especially when it came to certain amendments, right? And now we're talking about the 14th Amendment today, but that's another story. So um, you mentioned Candace. He says uh, he's talking about the hat, the Blexit, right? The, there was a hat, Blexit, black exit from the Democratic Party or whatever. He says, I introduced Candace to the person who made the logo and they didn't want their name on it, so she used mine. I never wanted any association with Blexit. I had nothing to do with it, he says. So, um, and then he says, you know, I, I support, he, he supports community, helping people in the community. He supports all kinds of things. I'm just looking at his tweets uh, now um, and saying that he's going to back away from politics. Okay, good. And, and focus on creativity. All I say is, good for you. I hope you mean it. I just wonder what the Trump folks are going to say now. How they gonna... All right, so you guys just heard what CNN had to say about the situation. Well, now today, Candace Owens, who is a really conservative black female, um, and she kind of, you know, she's been out there doing her thing, but when Kanye West aligned himself with her, that definitely elevated her stardom. And so basically today, she's taken to social media and she's apologizing to Kanye West. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys her apology. So Candace Owens says, if I had to imagine what it would feel like to have a bullet pierce my heart it would be exactly like the moment I learned Kanye West told the world he felt I used him I never once said that Kanye designed the t-shirts for Blixit this was a lie that seems to have made its way around the world a lie that I would like to again correct for the record Kanye was completely right to feel used in regards and I have done personally I would like to publicly apologize to him for any undue stress pain the efforts to correct the rumor has caused them his business relationships or his family he simply never designed them i'm a leader and i would like to lend this moment by stating that any and all confusion relating to this topic is therefore my fault entirely i would also like to publicly apologize to president trump as i know kanye's tweets were rapidly misinterpreted as a shot towards his administration his tweets were aimed at me and me only rightfully for my personal failings
Honey. So this entire situation is a hot mess, but you know what? I don't feel bad for Kanye West at all, okay? I really feel like the reason why he's trying to distance himself now, the reason why he's so publicly upset and why he doesn't want to have anything to do with Candace, I believe that when that t-shirt idea came out, the whole Blixit, trying to make black folks leave the Democratic Party and go to the Republican Party, I believe when that came out, that was the final straw for Adidas. I feel like Kanye West is only trying to distance himself publicly via social media so that way Adidas will still stand by him because let's keep it real, his Yeezys are not selling like that. He's not being supported, especially by the black community. A lot of people have issues with him. And I feel like now he's trying to distance himself. Why? Because his bottom line is being affected. Even when you listen to that apology that Candace wrote, she made sure to state this. She stated, I want to publicly apologize to him for any undue stress or pain the effort to correct the rumor has caused him in his business relationships or his family. He simply never designed them. So in my personal opinion, that's where this issue lies, is that it's affecting his business relationships, it's affecting his Adidas brand, it's affecting all of that stuff. And I think it's kind of sad that it's affecting that because he is allowed to have his opinion, he's allowed to side with Trump if he wants to, that is called freedom of speech, he has a right to do that. But the issue is he has such a huge platform and he's spewing a bunch of just, you know, bullshit rhetoric that just does not make any sense. And that's the sad part. You know, he walks around with this whole Make America Great Again hat. You know, you have no problem wearing that. But then this T-shirt is the final straw for you. I'm not buying that shit at all. Hundreds of young black conservatives gathered in our nation's capital on Friday and over the weekend for a leadership summit hosted by Turning Point USA at, as you can see, the White House. All right, during the summit, the movement known as Blexit was launched in an effort to help uh, African-American voters exit the Democratic Party. Candace Owens, she's the driving force behind Blexit, behind that movement and communications director for Turning Point USA, and she joins us <laughs> now. Hey, I saw that Kanye was talking about these hats. Oh my gosh, yeah, that story really blew up overnight. It was suddenly and he international. he helped with the design? News. So, you know, I'm friends with like one of the greatest designers of all time. So of course, <laughs> when I had conceptualized Blexit all by my Myself separate of him. Before Blexit I, is your idea. Blexit is me. I, I came up with it in February before Kanye even tweeted me. Um, and he's a designer. So, you know, I, was, I, I brought him a hat that I had made and I was like, do you like this? And he, was, he said, no, I don't, I don't like this. He goes, this. no, I don't like <laughs> it. Like and he gave I you that. Better. Can you hold no, that up? No, so he didn't give me this. So um, he had introduced me to a designer that was making these sort of this calligraphy letters that were based in, in human beings, which yeah, was largely like inspired by Uganda. Sure. Um, and he helped me, that designer helped me create an entire font that we then put on hats. So explain explain for us what Blexit is and how you came up with the idea you were watching on television. Yes, um, the black exit from the Democrat Party because it's time that we stop allowing them to use us for votes and deliver none of the promises um, that they ensure every election cycle. And I came up with it actually backstage at CPAC. I got slammed out of hearing Trump speak because I was too late to go to the doors and I was shoved into this tiny little room with Nigel Farage and we were watching the president speak. I looked up and I said, oh, that's the guy who did the Brexit thing. And I said, we really need a Blexit in, in America. There it was. And there it was. The What'd idea was hatched. Al Sharpton, he was on, an, on a, another network and he was saying that the folks that were there were being used as props. Listen to this. This was among the lowest things that he could ever do. They're talking about CNN sucks. They're in there talking about build a wall. So why do you need a young black summit to do it? Because it was not a summit. It was a Make America Great uh, rally. They used some young blacks as props, which really is an insult to them. Are you insulted by that? Are you, you a know, prop? Um, I, I thought it was tremendously hurtful and it was also frustrating um, because we had a lot of students there who literally were coming out of group homes who didn't know what to wear, who were wearing their grandma's dresses and the amount of emotion when, even when Don Jr. came up the night before and they were just crying and they were so thankful that a president had ever invited them to a White House that we went above and beyond to make sure that we could cover their expenses and to have him just insult the entire movement without reaching out to so much as one person to hear their story. It was frustrating, but then, you know what? It proved my point, because that's what the Democrats view black people as props. And so he just stuck them he into his no narrative. Idea. He had no idea. He stuck them into his narrative and his talking point. He did not reach out to speak to any of them, because he doesn't care about them. And that's well, the point that we're trying to get them to understand. And we At the end of the day, him in that T-shirt line, or Candace in that T-shirt line, Blixit, putting on a T-shirt 
and announcing to the world that you're going to go from being a Democrat to a Republican, that does nothing in the grand scheme of things, okay? True freedom is actually leveraging your vote and making those in power, regardless if they're Republicans in power or Democrats in power, making them respect your vote. You have to make them respect your vote and you have to make them appeal to you and listen to you. You know what I'm saying? You have to have financial backing. We have to come together as a community. You have to basically pay and bribe a lot of these damn politicians to get things done. This is why things get done in other communities, but not so much in the black community. So it's not about a t-shirt. It's not about Kanye West's, you know, ranting and raving on social media. It's about putting money and power behind certain people who have certain people's best interest at heart. That is true freedom, and that is really leveraging your vote. So this entire situation is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out I don't see Kanye West staying away from Trump I don't see him backing all the way out I do see him you know maybe not doing things as publicly or making a grand spectacle of it because it's affecting his business relationships but I do definitely feel like Kanye West will still hold the same views the same values and everything else a leopard does not change its spots overnight okay so he can say whatever he wants to say on social media but I'm not buying it you know, in this whole situation, you know, with Candace, she's over there apologizing. She's trying to take full responsibility. But let's keep it real. She never came out and said that this was Kanye West's clothing line. She never said anything about Kanye West. The media and people on social media basically tied it to Kanye West because of their close relationship. But again, he's only upset and salty because now it's affecting his deal with Adidas. And to me, that's the bottom line. He's not selling his music like that, his clothing, his shoes. Everything is being affected by not only what he's been doing on social media, but also what he's been doing with Trump and all his other antics as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Kanye West and Candace Owens now beefing on social media and Kanye West basically saying that he's done with politics. He's backing out. He doesn't want to deal with any of these people anymore. Do you guys believe where Kanye is coming from or do you feel like Kanye West is just talking and he'll be right back involved in politics in the future? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.